Hi, this is Asin. Today, I would like to share how to create or add a new worksheet and rename it using VBA. So, what I wish to do is I have a list of types here. I would like to create sheets according to the types names. So, meaning to say different types should have different shapes. As we can see, we have different types names X, Y, Z and repeated name x x x y y y and z z let's go to visual basic and write the code so we go to developer tab look for visual basic that we can simply insert the code in any sheets that we want usually if we want to add the sheets for this second shape means that the data sheet itself then I will choose this this sheet too as usual give a name so we write sub okay maybe like add sheet so we have basically we have two codes we just need two codes to add sheets so we can have set sheet equal to so from here as we can see we want to set a particular sheet okay by adding a new sheet so what we have to do here is meaning to say this is random variable so we can use any words any letters that we like so we can use simply as simply as h simply as t or something else or any other words that we prefer so before that, meaning to say we must define. So theme sheet as word sheet. Then we have just set. Set this sheet, meaning to say we are going to add. So she's dot add. By setting the, a new sheet, we just have to add. So we have few options here. If we want to put the, this new added sheet okay, before a particular sheet that we used before. If we want to put after, then we just select after. Usually, I will put at the end of the worksheet. So we will put after here. Then colon equal to... So we select sheets. So as we know, as usual, when we create a new sheet, the Excel will automatically rename the sheet as the, by using the number link. For example, we already have sheet one, sheet two. Okay, then usually we we'll follow by sheet three. If let's say we don't have specific name, okay. Otherwise, maybe like since this is asking this data sheet. So meaning to say we'll start back to sheet 1. So we just have to use the sheet count sheets.count. So follow exactly what the Excel usually do. Then this will minimize the chances of getting error. So now we have sheet.name equal to sheet. Okay, because we want to refer to the data name here, means that the type name here, so meaning to say we need to refer to sheet2.cells. Okay, then we want to read the name according to starting from the second row. So if let's say we want to read through all the rows here, then we have to create another random variable and run through so meaning to say usually we will make use of the for loop so for i equal to 1 starting from 1 and then we run however as we can see we should start from the second row so meaning to say we have to use i plus 1 then for the first column okay so with this two then we are able to add sheets so we want to run through all the rows here so we can make use of their for loop so for i equal to 
1, 2, all together we have 9 minus 1 means that 8 rows. Then we start from I, run the first one completed, then we go to the next I. So as we can see, since we have repeated, if let's say we just run through it this way, then definitely we have we will have arrow. Why? Because if let's say the name is repeated, as we know, SL not allow us to use repeated name when we name a particular sheet. So what we have to do here to avoid, then we have to check through. To check through, then we can make use of the for each sheet in this workbook. Then we create another line so to run through each each sheet so when we run through then we are able to check so remember we should let the define as the first row because we are using this random variable all the while so for each sheet in this workbook so i will call active workbook dot worksheets so we want to run through this workbook and then check all the worksheets see better we we have repeated worksheets or not if you would like the excel to create a new sheet on if and only if the name does not appear in the existing worksheets so meaning to say if we don't have them only we create so meaning to say we need condition to create condition then we have to make use of the if else function so we will type if okay now we check to the name so if the sheet dot name the sheet that we have with the name not equal to all this here so we have to run through according to sheet 2 dot cells and we have i plus 1 1 so exactly the same here for this two line also sheet 2 because we run through the rows here then Okay, we want to check whether we want to have the sheet or not. If let's say we don't have, then we create. So if we do in this way, meaning to say when we check x is not equal to our same, definitely not equal. If we did not put another condition, what will happen? So we'll automatically create a new sheet. How if let's say x is equal to x, then this will not happen if x is not equal to our same means that we will create a new sheet for x how if let's say the second sheet here data sheet instead of data sheet but x so meaning to say we already introduced we already made an error here why because we did not check through all the sheet then only decide whether we need a new sheet or not but immediately we create a new sheet when we when we realize that it's not the same so this is wrong so meaning to say we need to create another var random variable to check through all the sheets here before we decide we want to have a new sheet or not so i will use a here so if i say a is equal to zero then i will not create i will have to create because this is not equal so meaning to say i will create another random variable another condition if a equal to zero then yes i will now create so meaning to say i have to run for a i will let a remain as a here why it's because if let's say all the time we let a equal to zero then only we create what happened so how if let's say the first sheet is x but the second sheet is not meaning to say when x is equal to x, of course, is equal means that it won't be this line. But how will let's say the second 
as we can see x is not equal to the second means that the last value will remain as zero then this is dangerous because we will come to an error as long as the last sheet is not the name that we have here then we will have to create a new sheet then automatically we will come to error if this is already as this so we have to set a so we need to say okay a is not so i will go to else if else okay what i have to do here okay we can use a equal to one or i will usually use a plus one to make sure it runs smoothly so every time just if i say same then i will have a number here then same i will have a number here as long as not equal to zero then i won't come to i won't come to creating a new sheet here so meaning to say okay if i say i already detected i have so a is already with a number so even though even though when the last sheet is not equal i come to here will still be equal to the previous number that i done here so meaning to say no longer zero lah. so and if because we start with if then we end if okay so again i have to make sure i run through all the shades before i decide so next shape decide one to have a new sheet or not okay after that then we now come to decide so if let's say i run through all already still zero then of course i need a new sheet okay so next start with if and with if okay we start from the first i run through done already then we go to the next i so the code is already completed completed now we check whether we have the correct output or not before we press the run button notice the number of sheets here carefully see whether the output correct or not okay so now let's run as you can see okay x y z stop already no others no lag so what we have is only x y z how let's say now i choose the first one to x x so we run again see better we can have a new sheet called x x so run again as we can see x x because it's different from x so even though i run again so as we can see here nothing happened because all the sheets here if it's already appear over here so regardless how many times we run no new sheets created okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like this see you